happened a month after moving to Tokyo. My run of good luck... ...came crashing to a halt. surprised huh? I don't get it I worked so hard to save up before coming here and now I'm down to 2228 yen that's what happens when you spend your money it disappears you're a total shopaholic buying all kinds of clothes and every stupid piece of furniture you see but mr. Mizukoshi gives me a deal on stuff in the store and instead of letting me pay for the clothes he's just deducting them from my paycheck so now you have a pile of clothes but no paycheck to cover your living costs I know isn't it do you think I got ripped off by it's it? It's your own stupid fault. Oh, okay, what about your situation, Nana? How come you've got enough money to live on when you don't even have a steady job? Well, the difference between you and me is that I don't spend money. Thank goodness. I'm not gonna bail you out. I wasn't expecting you to do that. Okay, then what did you mean? Well, wouldn't it be a bummer if we were both broke? I don't want you depending on me. When we moved in here, we agreed to split the rent and bills 50-50. If you can't pay your share by the end of the month, then I'm throwing you out. <gasps> Bitch. Huh? You wouldn't care if I was homeless and starving to death. Whatever, drama queen. <gasps> and don't leave me to die all alone! Let go, I'll be late for work. You're going to work? Where are you working this late at night, an S&M club? That's really none of your business. Have a good night sleeping with the ghost. <laughs> This is no time to be afraid of ghosts when my real problem is money. I've got two weeks till my next paycheck. The question is, can I survive until then on 2,000 yen? What am I gonna do? This is freaking me out. Having no money is really scary. I didn't move to Tokyo to suffer like this. That wasn't the plan. If that wasn't the plan, then why did you move here? Uh... Make it on my own? Then you have to figure it out on your own. Yeah, but how? That's not my problem. I can't be a dominatrix. I don't know how. Dominatrix? <laughs> Why don't you just talk to Shoji and sponge off him for the rest of the month? No way. I can't let him see me like this. He'll get so sick of me. He won't want to be with me anymore. And now he's so busy with school and work, I can't just show up in the middle of the night. He'd hate me even more for bothering him. But it's okay to bother us. <laughs> it's all right, Nana. I got it. Here's some cash to get you through to the end of the month. <gasps> Josuke, hey. we don't have that kind of money to spare. Oh, come on. I'm not giving it to her. It's just a loan. Right. You don't know her like I do. Give Nana cash and it's going to be spent within a day. What? That. It's rice. I got it from my parents and I'll share it with you. This will keep you from starving till the end of the month. No way! No way! No way! What am I gonna have with that rice? All right, I can deal with this. Payday is on the 26th. 
long as I don't buy anything from the store, I'll have 70,000 yen. But then there's my cell phone bill, which is 10,000. So that leaves me with 60,000. 60,000 should be enough to cover my half of the rent and the bills. I guess I'll survive. But just barely. Then what's gonna happen next month? Now instead of being terrified, I'm just depressed. Hey, Nana. Hmm? You can go for your lunch break now if you want. Oh, that's okay. I'm gonna be skipping lunch for a while. Oh? Why's that? Well, uh, I decided it was time for me to go on a diet. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I was wondering why you weren't your usual bubbly self. You're hilarious, Hachi. <laughs> I guess it's not the best time to ask you out to eat if you're on a diet. <laughs> Which is too bad, because I was gonna take you out to dinner tonight. <laughs> I take it that's a yes? What do you say we close the store early today? <laughs> Start thinking about where you want to go. Oh well, it's okay, right? I mean, it's only dinner. He's just being a friendly boss, that's all. I mean, that's not really cheating, right? Where have you been? I've been waiting forever. Yeah, sorry. Hmm? So how about next Sunday? I think I can make it, yeah. Great! Oh, by the way, you know what happened yesterday? Hmm? What? Hmm. What are you saying? That's crazy! <laughs> no, I'm serious! It's true! <laughs> you need to be more careful how you choose your friends. Yeah, well, she's always been a nice girl. Are you kidding me? Ow! Yo. Uh... Hmm. So that's how it is. I know. It's a crazy coincidence, huh? You work at the same restaurant, you go to the same school, you even got the same major. I bet you two get along great. Yeah, but Sachko passed the entrance exam on her first try, so she's a couple years younger. Sachko? Yeah, she keeps wanting to hang out with me and stuff like that. It'd be rude to say no. You know, she's definitely the type of girl you normally go for. Kind of petite and pale. Whatever, stuff happens. Hey, it's not like that between us! Right. Good for you for having the self-control. Uh-oh, here she comes. Hey! Coffee okay for you, Shoji? Sure, thanks. Mr. Kyosuke? Which one of these do you want? Just call me Kyosuke. Sachiko. <laughs> She's seriously bad news, man. Hmm? Well, to be perfectly honest, the type of girl I usually go for is a giant tanned woman. You know, just like you. Uh, well, excuse me for being real. But even I think she's cute and could probably go for her. This is definitely bad. was awesome. Sheen, I didn't hear you come in. You play drums too? That is so cool. I can't really play. But I just heard you. What you heard's pretty much all I can do. But it was really good. When did you learn to play? Before I moved to Tokyo, I was in a band. I just picked it up for fun. Oh, from Yasu? How do you know about Yasu? When Nobu's had too much to drink, he's always going on about him. Like last night, he kept saying how much he missed him and wished he was here. So you crashed at Nobu's again last night? And aren't those his clothes? Nobu's at work right now, so he's gonna be a little late. Sheen, shouldn't you go home sometime? Aren't your parents gonna worry about you? I doubt it. Really? Well, whatever then. You're different from everyone else, Nana. Usually people try to reassure me with stuff like, of course they're worried about you. 
Well, I know. There are parents who don't really care about their kids. Still in junior high? The kid who came by the store and saw the ad for the band? Didn't he tell you he was 18? Yeah, but turns out he's really 15. Nana got suspicious and dragged it out of him. He didn't think they'd let him join the band if they knew he was still so young. I guess he should probably be going to high school soon. But I don't know if he even goes to school. Yeah? Maybe he skipped his exams. Hmm. I really don't know. He doesn't talk about that kind of stuff. I'm sure he has his reasons. Yeah. Well, anyway, I get the feeling he doesn't go home much, which makes me worry about him. And I bet his parents are really worried too, not knowing where he is. Yeah, you're probably right. And we still haven't found anyone who can be our drummer. It's tough, you know. It feels like we're running out of luck. I thought you said there was a guy who tried out. What happened to him? Nana didn't like him and threw him out of the studio. It's a shame, because all the other guys said he was pretty good. Well, sounds like she must have some pretty high standards, huh? Maybe, but I think it's because she's secretly in love with Yasu, and that's why she doesn't want any other drummers in the band. And who's Yasu? The drummer from their band back home. He's a skinhead lawyer. He's totally Nana's type. <laughs> sounds like they make a great couple. Mr. Mizukoshi, can I get the beef and potatoes as well? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh boy, I'm so full. This is true happiness. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. I wasn't sure what you'd think about going to a pub for a meal. You kidding? I love pubs. They're cool. Thank you so much for... Nana, you okay? Oh. Are you alright? <laughs> I think I might have had a little bit too much to drink. I'm such an idiot. Hmm. Uh-oh. Well, I better get going! Don't go yet, Nana. Wait! Uh. Nana, I had a reason for taking you out to dinner tonight. There's something I need to tell you. Uh, not so fast. I wasn't sure when would be a good time. I know this will come as a surprise, and I'm sorry that I didn't have the courage to bring the subject up any sooner. This isn't good. I know that what I have to say is going to be hard for you to hear. I'm not ready for this. Mr. Mizukoshi. You see, I, uh... I wasn't sure when would be a good time. I know this will come as a surprise. And I'm sorry that I didn't have the courage to bring the subject up any sooner. This isn't good. I know that what I have to say is going to be hard for you to hear. I'm not ready for this. Mr. Mizukoshi. You see, Nana, I'm going to have to close the store. I'm so sorry. Business isn't going well. You knew we were going to have to run to catch the last train. So why'd you wear shoes like that? Uh, I did it on purpose. Huh?
Here, for the cab. No, that's okay. It was on my way home anyway. But if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have missed the last train. Honestly, it's no problem. Hmm. Shoji, that phone call you got was from your girlfriend, right? Mm. I can't accept favors from guys who have girlfriends. Shoji. That's it. That's all I've got to my name. No, I'm not! I've been saving up so I could buy that! <gasps> a new computer? Oh, wow! Pretty sweet, huh? I mean, I am studying to be a kick-ass graphic designer. Bet we could get a good price for this! No way, man! What am I gonna eat for dinner tomorrow? I've got nothing! Here, you can have some of these. Homemade pickled plums from my grandma. And so I was out of a job, and had no idea what I was going to do. I seriously thought I was going to end up homeless, starving to death on the street. What are you writing? <gasps> 300,000? Wow, Mizukoshi must have deposited 300,000 in my account to severance pay! Are you sure it's not just 30,000 yen? If he was paying you to the end of the month, that would sound about right. Maybe it's so much because he's trying to pay me off? So you did do it with him. No, I did not! You big liar! You must have, or else why would he give you that much money? But I didn't, I swear! If you must know, Mr. Mizukoshi's moving back to the boonies to marry his childhood sweetheart. Which sucks, because I really liked him! You huh? idiot. What? Mizukoshi's not the one who put all that money in your account. Take another look. Natsuko Komatsu? That's my mom! Looks like you got a long way to go before becoming an independent woman. What? But I never said a word to my parents about me being broke. I was scared they'd make me move back home if they knew I was in trouble. How on earth did she know? Must have been Mother's intuition. <laughs> okay, then! I think we need to celebrate, so how about I make us some sukiyaki for dinner tonight? What? When I lived at home, Mom made sukiyaki when we had a celebration. Let's go back to the store and get what we need. You're crazy. You just lost your job. What is there to celebrate? The fact that I've got a lot of money? Are you totally insane? Think about what you're doing. We're gonna eat exactly what we plan to eat. Not toe. And until you get another job, no luxuries for you. Now that we're home, shouldn't you call your mom and say thank you? Yeah, I'll call her later. Oh, I see. You don't want to call because you're afraid you'll start crying when you hear mommy's voice. No! Well, maybe I do get a little homesick sometimes. Don't you ever feel that way? Uh, nope. It's hard to get homesick when you don't have a home. <gasps> What's up with you? You don't always have to try and act cool around me. Looks like tonight might be a sukiyaki night after all. Yasu, we need you. Blast isn't the same without you. Yeah, I've been too worried to sleep. There are lots of law firms right here in Tokyo. <laughs> so 
So, Nana, do you still feel like you don't have a home? The dining room table and chairs that you made for us are still here. Just like the good old days. I reached into the sky I'm alone. I'm alone.